Deep fear, everybody. That was a very complex <laughs> uh, <laughs> system of 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 <laughs> getting back to our save game. I'm not really sure what <laughs> the hell's going on. Um, definitely not used to this emulator. Right. Oh, all of this stuff is back now. Okay. So if I manually load the disk in in the normal way. Uh, I don't get any saves at all. If I load my uh, M3U file, I get all of my old saves. If I try to load the save state, it doesn't work because I have to... Uh, be, be, it doesn't recognize the fact that we, we, we've only got one disk and just cr like crashes the emulator. So I have to... Load my MTU file. Open the disk tray virtually. Insert the next disk. Then load the save state. But it still doesn't let me use these state uh, saves. And still after I've loaded my save state. So I think we're probably just going to be using save states from now on. Because this emulator man, Medefin... Uh, yeah, it, it's, it's a, it's a real thing. Um, I guess we can upsa update that save. It doesn't seem to really matter. Uh, anyway, uh, I believe we were doing something. Yeah, so, um, we're trying to get everybody back so they can escape out of the, uh, the vessel. That's right. The, uh, Sills, uh, extraction vessel thing. Um, but she won't leave. Oh, she had a password for us. Luckily, I've already written it down. It was 2751. Okay. So that's to the sea farm. Um. Are we not already in the sea farm? Oh, that's Sharon's room right at the very end. I wonder if we can go in there yet. I guess, I guess we can have a little poke around if we can. Uh, the Sharon's door is locked. Okay. I guess that answers that question. Right. So, uh, that's the breeding pool. That ah right. So that's the elevator. Uh, okay. Well, let's go to the bottom floor, I suppose. <sighs> Seriously considering buying a Sega Saturn. But then the trouble is you you then gotta buy all the games and the games are just they're so expensive now. That's the trouble. Like the retro gaming um market is just absolutely destroyed oh we've never been down here have we yeah that's right because matey boy was uh playing with the elevator i remember now oh i don't like this <laughs> i don't like this room yeah you've got literal like games going for hundreds of pounds even the systems themselves um, and the worst thing about the systems is they're not rare. <laughs> like GameCubes go for an extortionate amount of money. Oh, hello. A GameCubes go for over £100. So do PlayStation 2s. They're not rare. There is millions and millions and millions of them out there. I don't get it. A Holstein. A Holstein? She's uh, bred experimentally for an underwater environment. Ugh, okay. Hey, cow, you wouldn't happen to have any shotgun shells around here, would you? No? Okay. So, I wonder what's down here. Administration room. What do we have going on down here? I'm wondering... Ooh. I wonder if that, like, cow's gonna get, like, horribly murdered or something. Ooh. Don't mind if I do. Oh! Definitely don't mind if I do. And we have another storage room as well, which is wonderful. 
Uh, it's the control panel to manage the animals. Yeah, let's not play around with that too much. So I... Oh, right. Oh, this is where... Okay, to... Enter. Yeah, I'd love to have an actual Sega Saturn in my collection. But, you know, £150 for a Sega Saturn? Uh, yeah, no, I'm alright. Maybe one day. Ooh. Right, 72 shotgun shells we can hold down. Very nice. Ooh, okay. So we've got storage through there. I wonder if there's actually... Ooh. Ah, you've obtained the gas end of the torch. Nice. That's what Matey Boy wanted. Danny, I believe his name was. Okay. I guess we can go through here. Farm area B2. Another passageway here. Straight through. Um... Ah. Really? Uh, a sign is posted. Danger. Elevated. Ah, oh, you. Really? Elevator is closed. You absolute bell end. Fair enough. Uh, okay. Well, I guess that leads us out. Uh, we've only got one real lead. And I guess that is going to be talking to Danny again. Back in the CCD uh, building or whatever the hell that was. CCD, yes. Yeah, was it CCD? Something like that. Large animal. I like this large animals room. And there's literally like one large animal in here. Is it going to mutate? Is it going to become a super cow? Uh, no. I guess not. I like the way she's just like patiently just chilling there in the corner. Is that actually like anything here at all? Uh, no. Doesn't look like it. Oh well. Yeah, let's go see our friend Danny. See what he can do with that blowtorch of his. Tried to cheer myself up today. Um, still no cat. So, I have put honey in my coffee. Because I was feeling delirious and slightly insane. It's, um... Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it's pretty much what I expected it to be. Just uh, took a sip of it and I was just like, mm. Somehow, it's honey and coffee and I come away disappointed. I knew exactly what it was going to be. Ah. Okay. Oh, yeah. So, where were we going? Uh, we were going up this way. Yeah, that's that's the one thing, I think, with the air system um, that's still bugging me now. Uh, it's, we've gone the wrong way. It only seems to apply to us. Like, nobody else seems to be that bothered about running out of oxygen. Uh, in fact, to be fair, we're not actually that bothered about running out of oxygen either, because we'll just whip out our mask. Uh, and this is the breeding pool. God damn it. I swear I'm not trying to waste your, your time on purpose, people. I swear. I also need to try and um, find a list of Sega Saturn games that I want to, I want to do now. Of which there's probably many. Okay, so, there was a ladder, um, a ladder, it's not a ladder, is there? We're looking for, is it that? Can't be that, that's number two. Ah, alright, that's a sea farm, okay, so, 
Uh, oh, right. We need to find... Yeah, so it's literally opposite. Okay, cool. Got you. I think I got you. It's got to be this one. Zero four. Yeah, passageway. Aha! My brain. It is working, apparently. Well, I mean, I suppose people can debate that, but... Oh, hello. I think we got it. Yes. That is a wicked shotgun. Nothing left but a red smear. I'm probably wicked shotgun. I mean, it feels better than the um the SMG. The SMG was just terrible. See, the thing is, the handgun wasn't bad either. The handgun actually felt pretty fun to use. It was a nice, solid weapon. The sound effect for it wasn't too bad. The casings that went flying out were nice. There we go. But yeah, just something very off with the... Ooh, hello. With the SMG. Come on. Come out to play. Ooh. Maybe we should do the uh, Saturn version of Resident Evil, actually. I think we should probably do that. Uh, uh, right, so... So we've just come out of the dock area. Or is it... No, no, we've just come out of the docking area, haven't we? Oh, man, this, you'd think I'd be getting used to this by now, but... It's... Uh, okay, let's go upstairs. Because we need to go through the apartment area. Ah, right, okay. Uh... The apartment area is that one right over the other side, isn't it? It is. Okay. I mean, I'm, I'm sort of getting used to it, kind of, in a very roundabout, almost shit way. But uh, we're getting there. Okay. Tempted to pick up some more shotgun shells, but, you know, I've only used a few. It's just annoying that you have to reload all of your ammo um, to reload your gun, basically. But then, I guess... You know, enemies have never really been a problem in this game, to be honest with you. So, CCD. Uh, I think he was on, like, the second floor. Uh, was he on the second floor? Oh, we should check that um, woman out as well. I can't remember her name now. Yeah, he was on the first floor. Alright, let's go see what Danny says first. Where was that other woman? The one that had the dog. She was around here. Surely we've got to speak to her. Hey, Danny boy. Hot package for you. He was up here somewhere, wasn't he? Unless he's, like, in his room. Nope, he's just waiting there by the door. You brought gas for the torch. Thanks. shark is damaged by walking on the ocean floor there should be big gym suits in the DN area big gym it's finished we should be able to get through now okay I have a favor to ask John if you see Anna 
tell her that she doesn't need to act so macho. She's uh, cute. She's quiet. <laughs> tell yourself. If I could, I wouldn't be asking you. Okay, I'll tell her. Tell Anna she's cute when she's quiet. Uh, sure, pal. Yeah, that's not going to come off um, dickish, is it? Right, so I guess... Uh, I'll go have a look around. I'll be at my room later. Come if something comes up. Okay, so we can actually go to his room. Interesting. Let's go to the DN area then and talk to Anna. Now... I actually forget. Oh, right. This is the actual apartment area, isn't it? Cool. And it looks like Anna hasn't gobbled up all the oxygen that was here as well, which is also quite nice. I guess we can recharge that, but we don't need to. Wait. So, where was Anna's room? G Big gym parts room. Equipment room. Ah, communicate room. Yeah, she was downstairs, I think. I think. Oh, we got hostiles. Oh, these old mutey bastards. That's okay. Wow, the shotgun. Reload. This shotgun, though. Ooh, yes. Bleed. Bleed to death, you bastards. Okay. Um, right. So, that's the intelligence room. She wasn't in the intelligence room, though. And that's the equipment room. She was... She had her own room. I'm sure she did. Uh, right. Ah, right, yes, yeah, she was down here. Thought she was. Hey, Anna's room. Excellent. Oh. Are you okay? <coughs> Fine. Uh oh. I have a message from Danny. He says, you don't need to act so macho. You're cute. You're quiet. That rude geek. <laughs> and what does Mr. Rescue want with me? Not just Danny's message, right? I want to ask about the anti-pressure diving suit. I'm going to the energy unit area. Are you crazy? Even for us divers who are used to it, it's hard to walk on the ocean floor in the big gym. There's no other way. This place could melt down at any time. <gasps> it has to be done. Meltdown? Follow me. <laughs> Her character model does look like a man, I'll be honest. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Uh, yeah, follow you. Um, uh, <laughs> where you? Oh, hey. Hey, Pooch. Where exactly was that? I guess we can't read her notebook. I guess she has a variety of uh, wetsuits. Um, okay, cool. So, uh, where's she gone though? Where am I supposed to be following her? Like, follow me. Like, uh, we apparently know exactly where she's gone. Oh, I mean, I guess she's in the big gym. Uh, uh, okay. Okay. Uh, right. Now, according to my notes here, 
we can obviously go and talk to her, but... Wait, I think, I think, I think we've already done that. We actually apparently have got ahead of ourselves here. Which is fine. Okay, see what she says. That's strange. There's only one big gym, and it's a spare one. So the oxygen, oh, the oxygen tank is not attached. You can't dive in it the way it is. There's a spare tank in the parts room. Go fetch it. I'll fix up big gym. So who, wait a minute. Wasn't there two big gyms here? Ah, uh, that other guy, yes. Um, of course, that Japanese fella who we gave the uh, documentation to. I imagine he's stolen one. Well, I say stolen one. They don't really belong to anyone anymore, do they? Okay. Uh, now, the parts room. Um... was back upstairs because of course it was where up uh, where else would it be okay yeah because they uh, said something about a slash in the wall in that parts room thing parts room area which was communication room it's that one there big gym parts room got ya which makes me wonder actually is uh, that Japanese dude going to be in here or is he going to be gone or is he going to be a monster oh no he's actually gone so yeah I guess he's decided to walk out of here in a big gym. Uh, more power to him, I suppose. Godspeed and all that. Um, now. So it's the air tank locker for big gym. Due to water pressure, it won't open. Well, that's bad. Uh, seawater must have leaked from this crack. Right. We know all of this. There must be a way. Uh, right. Uh, pressure. So what do we do? Apparently, there's something we're missing. Well, this is a switch. No, I guess that's not actually a switch. Looks like a switch, clucks like a switch. Apparently is not a switch. Hmm. Uh, okay. Hmm. Uh, what do we do here then? So if you can't open that, what can we do? Right, so we can't uh hmm so we've got any like buttons or anything in here that we need to push we need to recharge our air as well nothing useful here um uh So 
So we're on the third floor of... Yeah, we're on the third floor. Okay. So... I'm guessing somehow we need to drain the water, question mark, from that room. Um... Right, I'm going to do some exploring. Uh, I'll catch you guys back here in a second. Okay, apparently we have to talk to her again. And she goes, wait, I guess the room's flooded. I guess you weren't able to get the air tank because the parts box wouldn't open from the water pressure. If we can fix the leak, but we'll need some secret weapon like Navy's gum gun. Ask Danny about the gum gun. Ah, uh, really? Really? Secret weapon, the gum gun. Okay, I'm sure we can go inquire about the gum gun. Um, but how's that going to uh, stop the water from filling the room? Now, one thing I will say. It's interesting that there's just a thin shutter protecting that room from flooding. So now we have to go all the way back up and talk to Danny. Ay caramba. I would fast forward, but to be honest, like fast forwarding doesn't seem to do a huge amount in the simulator. Unless you're like actually running or something, but then it, it doesn't really work that well. Okay. So, now Danny boy. Oh, we better recharge our oxygen whilst we're here. So I'm guessing he's going to be in his room. Because uh, he did say, come back later if you need anything. Hint, hint. I guess. Okay. So... He's this way. I remember things about stuff. Right, come on, Danny. Yes! Hooray! I did come up here and check Danny's room, but it wouldn't let me in before. You have to actually go down and talk to Anna first. Well, this is quite nice. Uh, Danny? Danny! <laughs> uh, Danny, where are you, buddy? Uh, this isn't funny, Danny. He's conserving his oxygen somewhere. Well, maybe he has a gum gun here somewhere. Oh, there's a girl and a middle-aged lady in the picture. Oh, hello. That's uh, my family. Sorry, I didn't mean to snoop. It's okay. I was supposed to be on that with my family. You don't get to see your family for several months when you're on a submarine. But that morning, an emergency came up and I returned to the base. My wife and daughter were mad. They went on the tour without me and that was it. I was first notified of the accident after my return, two months later. Panic is not permissible on a submarine, so bad news has to wait. I got sick of the military and quit. But it's strange, before I realized it, I was back in the ocean. I know, I should hit the ocean. But I'm here. Well, what what did you want? I wanted to ask about the gum gun. It's a gun that shoots out a special resin. It's in the Navy area. Are you planning to do something crazy again? Well, yeah. Well, okay. The lift is ready. Go ahead and I'll follow. Okay. Um, okay, so now we've got to go back to the Navy area. And this guy's family also died. So this is literally, you know, the crew that is just full of people that had absolute catastrophes happen to them. All of their families and family members are dead and... Okay. So now we need to go back to the Navy area to get a gum gun so we can get an oxygen tank. Ah, okay. Okay. Um, so do we have to talk to what's her name again? 
to tell her that we've got to go to the Navy area because she's just like waiting for us. Um, it's probably going to turn out to be like a huge waste of time. Probably just going to regurgitate the same bullshit, but I don't want to have to go all the way to the Navy area to come to have to come back to find out that we haven't spoken to her and got her permission, blah, blah, blah. Because I can see this game doing that. Oh, I can. Right. It's got to be said as well, like, the actual animation cycle for Danny uh, is pretty cool. We go downstairs, don't we? Gee, there's a lot of going up and down elevators. I don't think uh, Resident Evil felt like there was that this much backtracking in the game. I mean, there was a lot of backtracking in Resident Evil, but I think a lot more happened. Uh, the enemies, uh, and you can say this about Silent Hill as well, like the enemies were a lot more fun to fight. They're very flat in this game. In fact... They don't feel like they really pose any kind of threat to you at all. There's no tension, I think would be fair to say. There's no dread. Oh, she's not here. Good. Now, I'd like... I don't know, actually. I was going to say, I'd like to know... If we were in a room that had limited oxygen and we were with an NPC, will that NPC actually suffocate when the oxygen reaches zero? I'm going to say they probably won't. Is she in here? Oh, she... What? Oh, dear. Did you find the gum gun? Oh, uh, she's not looking so good. She's she's doing something. I think she's okay. It's gonna have to be done. We could we could put her out of her misery right about now. She's definitely infected, without a doubt. I mean, you know, people don't generally shake like that. Uh, right, okay, well, I guess we're going to save the game, guys. We're going to call it a video here. And I suppose we're about to go all the way back to the naval area to get the gum gun. Because we need to seal up a little tear in the room to get an oxygen tank so we can put the oxygen tank in the big walking suit and then we can walk across the seafloor. So, I guess we will do that or make progress towards such in the next video. Thank you very much for watching, guys. And as always, till next time.